Our teeth are one of the strongest parts of our body. They are made from proteins such as collagen and minerals such as calcium. In addition to helping us chew through even the toughest foods, they also help us speak clearly. Most adults have 32 teeth, called permanent or secondary teeth. Eight incisors, four canines, also called cuspids, eight premolars, also called bicuspids, 12 molars, including four wisdom teeth, whereas children have 20 teeth. All eight of our incisor teeth are located in the front part of our mouth. We have four of them in our upper jaw and four in our lower jaw. They have sharp edges that help us bite into food. Whenever we sink our teeth into something, such as an apple, we use our incisor teeth. The very first teeth we grow are incisors, appearing when we are around six months old. Canines are four teeth which sit next to the incisors. We have two canines at the top of our mouth and two on the bottom. Canines have a sharp, pointy surface for tearing food. Canines are also called cuspids. Premolars are eight in number and sit next to your canines. There are four premolars on top and four on the bottom. Premolars are bigger than canines and incisors. They have a flat surface with ridges for crushing and grinding food into smaller pieces to make it easier to swallow. Baby molar teeth are replaced by adult premolars. Infants and young children do not have premolars because these teeth do not start to come in until around age 10. Molars are 12 in number and are our biggest and strongest teeth. We have six on the top and six on the bottom. The large surface area of your molars helps them grind up food. When you eat, your tongue pushes food to the back of your mouth. Then, your molars break up the food into pieces small enough for you to swallow. The molars include four wisdom teeth, which are the last set of teeth to come in. Wisdom teeth are also called third molars. They usually come in between the ages of 17 and 25. Not everyone has enough room in their mouth for this last group of teeth. Sometimes the wisdom teeth are impacted, meaning they are stuck under the gums. This means they do not have enough space to grow. If you do not have room for your wisdom teeth, you'll likely have to have them removed. Can you recall which type of teeth are the first ones we grow? Donate and help us make medical education universal, free, state-of-the-art and available to every human being. For more such videos, join our Facebook group. Let's make medical education universal, free, state-of-the-art and available to every human being to enable the best medical facilities for everyone.